All right, the way one minute per day works is you go here and you got the terminal button, which may look different on yours, maybe at the bottom. And you're in a terminal window and PWD. I'm in the top level, my home directory users, Daniel Paluska on this one. And I have in there a bunch of stuff, but one of the files I have is capture.sh. And so I do dot slash capture.sh. And once I hit that, that starts the script running. And so every 20 seconds, it'll print out this string here, which is sort of the time and date uh, when it took the photo. And it captures images, made screen smaller, and then it says Yofu. So I have a special folder here set up called One Minute Per Day. And that's where the, so there you go, just took another, another picture. And so if I look in my directory here, 303, I've been running this earlier today before as well. So you have all these pictures in here, which are pictures of the screen. Well, that one didn't work. Well, there's the truth. Oh, these are from... Oh, that's not by the date modified. So this is the most recent one. Those are by size. So that was when it changes to screensaver. And so these are a little bit smaller. Um, and uh, that's because I shrunk them. And the thing about that that's nice is you can sort of read some text, but it's a lot harder to read the text. And depending on how much you want to be able to read it or not read it, you can you can shrink that size. And then while this is running, if I want to stop it running, I just type Control C and it breaks out of the program. And so if, if I'm doing some shopping for a surprise birthday present or something and I don't want that recorded in my movie, I type Control C, it's not running. I want to run again, I just press the up arrow, hit return, and now it's running again. And then when it actually makes the movies at midnight every night or the next morning if you shut your computer before midnight and then you open it up, it'll make a movie and the movie will look like this like I said you can change the size in that movie there's a line in capture.sh that allows you to to change that actually I'll open that file why not this is what the actual file looks like it's pretty hard to read you can't really tell what's going on it's a little bit weird but it's a script, so you can change. There's this directory here, pictures OMPD, and that's where all my pictures lie. Um, and then down here below is the place where it actually, this line right here is where it makes the movie, and you can change that. I have that set to go to movies auto upload, but you could set that directory to anything you want. This is where the screen capture is taken, and then here, this line is where it's resized with this program Image Magic, so it's it's uh, it's maybe not readable anymore if you want. You can leave it the same size though. And then down here at the bottom is this line that says Sleep 20, and that 20 is how many seconds between frames, between screenshots. Oh, and this number right here, dash R20, is the how many. Um, how many frames per second for playback. So 20, once every 20 seconds, 20 frames per second playback, it's 400 times speed up. And if you go here to one minute per day again, you'll see that it's still been taking pictures. Here's the picture of what we were just doing. And then there's a an additional script, if you want, you don't have to, that will uh, allow you to upload automatically to YouTube and then you can have a YouTube channel with a bunch of really exciting videos on it. All certain to be hits. Big, big hits.